plastic model builders, welcome back. This is the F-102A Delta Dagger Part 2. This is the assembly of the cockpit and the fuselage. If you didn't see the last episode, check that out. Uh, this is this episode, so watch all of it. That way you don't want to miss anything, anything interesting that happens. We just glued on the front wheel well onto the cockpit. Now we are taking our landing gear off of the sprue. We want to test this landing gear to see how it fits while this is not glued into the plane. Why? It's more easy to do that. It makes more sense. So just cut these little pieces off right here. So you see it's got a little knob, not a knob, whatever you want to call that thing. Fits inside of a little slot inside of the wheel well. It doesn't quite fit, so you need to sand it down. And then you got the arms that stick out. Those got to go inside of that as well. So you've got to sand those down. Now if you skipped over this, you might not know that. You might have to figure out all on your own. Well, it happens. So here's the turbine. We are going to glue this turbine right here on top of this airplane that is the top of the wings so you see how that works this is the bottom of the wing kind of fits right there you want to see how well it fits on the, the bottom and then you're going to put the top of the fuselage on top of that that way you could see how well it fits in there and if it's in the right place and you could see it in there that's the turbine so now let's attach the gear bulkheads you got the front and the back so we're going to put these on once they're on we are going to slide on the bottom wheels, or I'm sorry, the bottom wings, hard to say, it's like a tongue twister, I know. So we'll put this on, that way we make sure these glue properly and stay in their proper spot. So we have that on, just like I said, grab the bottom wing, slowly put it on. You gotta fit it in between the two little shock thingies there, whatever those are, make sure it fits. Got our instrument panel, we gotta paint that. So paint the instrument panel, this is the inside of the cockpit goes this light gray color. I'm gonna put the chairs in there. It's not glued down. We're just gonna kind of go over this a little bit. A little sloppy, make it look pretty. I'm not worried about it. Why? I want it to look old. I figure with the nasty looking paint job, it'll look kind of old. And I'm actually giving it the base coat as well because we have some other fun colors coming up to paint the chair. So exciting about that. Anyway, get all your little nooks and crannies there we go, all around the chair. Get this back side here, you're not gonna see all of this, it's gonna be inside of the plane. Then gets just some of the side right there of the uh, inside of the cockpit. So now that that's done, we're going to take a little bit and we're going to drill inside of this scope. I just wanted the hole inside that scope to be a little bit deeper, a little more realistic. There we go, so we got a control, it's gotta break off that little thing from the sprue. Still a gray color. And don't worry, the top of that will go black. We're gonna show you that a little bit later. So that's the control stick. We've got our little throttle lever here, I believe that's what that is. Not exactly sure. So here we go. We just painted the scope, doing the instrument panels inside and all of our little dials. See there, almost complete. And of course, our little buttons and dials on the cockpit itself. If you want to call that the cockpit, I don't know what you would want to call it, the chair, the assembly. I'm sure it's got a name that somebody will be more than happy to tell me. Anyway, getting the front and back of the control stick and of course the throttle. There it is, wonderful, make it look pretty, model making madness. So I put a little bit of white glue on all of these. That way it looks like real glass. Why I took the extra time to do this, I don't know because I don't take the extra time to do anything else. So we have our chair. We're doing an olive drab green color, like a lot of chairs. And here we go, just carefully do the chair itself. The other was the seat. We've got our knobs, our little ejection things, yellow on each side. You saw one side and here is the other. Just really carefully get those. And then the chair headrest red our favorite color why because it doesn't ever come out of brushes you may as well just have separate brushes for red so be careful you want to get all around the edges of this and a little bit on the back don't get paint on anything maybe you could use a marker i don't know so there's part of the chair and we've got our buckles silver as usual or aluminum <laughs> whatever you want they all look roughly the same depends on how you want to age it so Take out the instrument panel right here. We're getting all these parts so we can glue them into the cockpit. This is our control stick. I'm going to take this out. There we go. We got the other lever. Glue the control stick into place. Got a little spot right there. Let it dry. OK. 
carefully place the throttle lever on the proper side. Now we are going to put our instrument panel in with the scope. Be careful how you do that. Don't want to get too much glue all over the place as you know I love to do. So glue in the chair. This is a fairly simple cockpit in terms of that and then of course the pilot you will have. So get the bottom of that and the back sides of this and it just kind of slides right into place make sure it goes all the way down. And there you have it. That is complete. So let's glue the top wing to the bottom wing. I'm going to go around all this edge area here that you see. And there's a small space that you don't put glue, which will be in the rear, because that's where the rest of the fuselage goes. But you can see how it's all glossy. And this is the wheel well. You want to get the top edge of the wheel well, just like this. And then once we have that, we're going to slowly lower this down. There is the bottom. Lower it down. We're also going to clamp it, press it down, make it firm. I love it. There you go. And you can also put a little bit of glue on the uh, little supports that go onto the back side of the, that uh, wing because they hit the flaps. So here we go, hard to reach. We are going to put the cockpit into the fuselage now. Not the easiest reach in the world. As you can see, I had a little bit of trouble. Maybe some other type of glue will work. So we're getting around that back part right there and we got around the instrument panel, a little bit on the sides. Kind of got to push it in. It's going to snap into place to have a little bit of trouble and then there you go fits in nice and neat and that's what it looks like i love it this plane is starting to finally take shape i put a little super glue on the outside edge there that way it bonds nicely and fills any seams now we're using a little bit of gap filler um, we'll try some other methods on this later the green stuff isn't really working out for me i'm told to use some acetone so we'll start trying that in other videos a little bit later down the road our fuel tanks while that stuff dries, we can take our fuel tanks and we can assemble these. You see there's two of them. This is not going to be rocket science to how to put these together. Basically, you just put glue around the edges like this. Front, top, side, back, rear, whatever. Even get around these little deals right there, the little round areas. Just take them and press them down. And fairly simple. It is a fuel tank. There we go. And that's what this one looks like. And here is the other one. I kind of had to move this one into place as it was drying because it didn't quite line up. And this is what it looks like right here. And then there we are lining it up. Perfect, right? I know. There it is. So now that we have that, we are going to assemble the wings and the fuselage because those pieces are all dried. Remember we did the fuselage in the last video, remember? Go check out that video. There's a link to that at the front of this video at the start. So just go around all these little areas right here that you see me doing. It's basically the whole front of this plane. And you're going to lower the fuselage into this. Or really, I'll show you. It's a little confusing, not really. You Actually, you force this into the fuselage, not lowering the fuselage onto that. So you see how we do this? Kind of just slide it in, press down. Might want to get a little bit of extra glue in the back there, however you want to do it. And there you go. Let's just hold that nice and secure and firm. And that's how it's supposed to look. Now we've got to prepare some parts for metalizing. So we got these, just clip them off. Um, if you want, by the way, to uh, do it properly with the, uh, just glue it together, or I'm sorry, the um, fuselage. I know I'm kind of rambling here. Use clamps, it'll help the wings dry and all that good stuff. So here we're doing the metalizer parts. This is the rear of the plane. Sorry for the ramble. Not the best of paint jobs in the world, but that's okay, it's gonna buff out and it'll be more realistic. And you can see through my glasses there, we're getting this entire thing covered at the rear. Get a little bit of the tips of the intakes right here. These are the outsides of the intakes and then you need to get the insides that meet closer to the plane. So here we have that, get the front and the back of those, and then we'll mask those off because some of it goes red. I didn't do the best paint job in the world when I did that, but practice makes perfect. We can't all be perfect. We all learn some way, somehow. So here we have those. What do we do after we got these painted? We let it dry, we take the tape off, and then we buff it out. So we will show you that. Taking the tape off right here, you see that nice, wonderful metal buffalizer. It says you shouldn't use tape for it. 
but I figured the model wasn't painted, so it wasn't a big deal, and it looked great when it came out. There you go. So here's one more piece right here. You got that, you see all of them. Whoop. So what now? Of course, buff it out. Tick cloth, go all around the edges, make it look shiny, because we like shiny parts. Get on the inside, and you see how that, you know, the shine just starting to come through. Buffalo is just kind of neat stuff. I like it. I'm not the greatest with it, but it leaves a decent shine. So we're going to take out the canopy right here. This is the front window glass and of course the back canopy. This is the actual canopy. We are going to use our white glue and glue this together. On a happier note, we're almost coming to the conclusion of this video. So thank you for watching. So here we have the canopy. We got our white glue, put it on the top. It's got to go all the way around all this because the canopy fits right on top of that. And then we'll have to mask that for painting. And I did it this way, that way I could put this down on the aircraft and paint it at the same time and not have to worry about masking off the cockpit, because that could be a pain. So we've got all of our glue on this. Press down right here, and that's that. Anyway, here's what's coming up next. Paint the aircraft. You know, that's always good stuff, right? Put the missiles on. Paint some red stuff. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Until next time, see ya.